Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and this is going to be part 2 of my 200 subscriber special. Um, this is going to be every single video game I have ever owned, from the Game Boy to the Switch, so all the way from 1988 until now. Um, now, you may notice I'm not exactly center with the camera, that's because I have like my 40 plus 3DS games stacked right next to me, because it won't fit on my desk. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into the video. Um, first off, I want to note something. I only have two Game Boy games, but I'm only going to show you one just because I don't know where Tetris is. Uh, this is Pokemon Silver. I really, really like this game, but I haven't, I haven't gotten very far into it. Um, I'm just, yeah. I'm actually stuck on a part. I don't even know how to navigate in the world. But, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, this is about it for Game Boy games. Let's move on to the uh, to the Super Nintendo games, which I actually don't have in my room. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be over here. Okay, so now on to the Super Nintendo games. Uh, we're in the next spot because my games are spread up in two different places. Um, first off is Super Pinball. is the Jungle Book. Super Black Bass. Jeopardy. Zombies and My Neighbors. And Tetris and Dr. Mario. Now we're going back. Okay, we're back over here now. Uh, that was the Super Nintendo games. Now, on to the PS1 games. Okay, I don't have my PS1 games right now. Uh, yeah. Um, they're over at my grandparents right now. And so I have the next Tetris, um, Test Drive 5, and uh, Need for Speed V-Rally. Those are my three PlayStation games. And, uh, yeah. I can't actually show them. But uh, next, let's see here. What is next? That would be the, ah, right, the Game Boy Advance games. Now, I really, really like my Game Boy Advance games. Um, and there is one that I cannot find. I know, there's a lot of games that I haven't found yet uh, because I have been, uh... yeah, no, I haven't played on my Game Boy Advance in a while. So uh, the one that I can't show you right now is Super Mario Brothers 3 or Super Mario Advance 4, as it is called on the Game Boy. Um, but first of the games that I can show you is Mario Kart Super Circuit, obviously. I feel like everyone who has a Game Boy Advance owns Mario Kart Super Circuit. Uh, next is Super Mario World. Yeah, Super Mario Advance 2. Uh, and then Pokemon Emerald. I, I love this game, okay? Because they didn't actually, uh, remake Pokemon... Emerald. They remade Alpha and Sapphire, which I will show you guys in a bit. Um, but they didn't actually remake this, which I really, really like. Um, and I, I'm talking a lot about this game. I won't talk a lot about every single game that I have. Um, just because there's so many. I mean, there's a hundred plus games that I have. And for me, that's a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is it for the, uh, the Game Boy games. Well, the Game Boy Advance games. Uh, let's move on to the GameCube. Alright, so next is Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Um, I have the disc and manual and everything, so... Um, the games that I have cases for, I'll try to show you the inside of everything. Uh, besides the Xbox 360 games, because that was pre-recorded. So I can't actually show you them, I guess. <laughs> and for the Wii U games. Those are also pre-recorded. It was recorded before this video, and so I won't actually be able to uh, to show you guys the inside of those. But this is Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. X is Mario Kart Double Dash. Now this is actually my brother's, but I'm just going to count it as mine because we live in the same household, and also we share a lot of these games. Um, here's the inside. Uh, I'm pretty sure the game is actually in the GameCube right now. Because that was the last game that we played on the GameCube. And next is Super Mario Sunshine. We actually don't have the case for it. Uh, there's this place in my town. 
Um, and they actually do have Super Mario Sunshine. Last time I checked, that was like a year and a half ago. Um, and they have the case manual and everything, so that's pretty cool. Um, now onto the Xbox 360 games. I will see you over at the other place. Wow. Okay, so we are back here again. Um, next are the Xbox 360 games. So first is Connect Disneyland Adventures. It's all right. Um, then Connect Adventures and Need for Speed Rivals. I've actually never played this game because my Xbox does not have enough memory. I have no idea why either. Okay, now on to, I believe, the Wii games. I'm not sure which came out uh, first, the PS3 or the Wii. I'm not sure. So, we're just going to do the Wii first. Um, obviously, you have to start out with Wii Sports. Now, a lot of people actually don't have the case for Wii Sports. They have, like, this little, uh, like pamphlet thing that the game came in because a lot of the time it was packaged in with the Wii. Uh, I don't even have that pamphlet. I have no idea where it went. Um, I actually have two copies of Wii Sports. So, uh, yeah, that's Wii Sports. Next is Mario & Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Um, this is actually in a pile over on, uh, over on my game shelf. That's where the disc is. Um, yeah, really ugly case too. I don't know why they went with a yellow. I have no idea. But uh, next is Mario Kart Wii. Love this game. This is easily my favorite. Okay, no manual. Um, I think this is my original Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, I have two copies of Mario Kart Wii. One of them does not work, and so we got another one. Um, definitely my favorite Mario Kart. It is just ahead of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart DS, though, so, very solid game. Next is, uh, kind of an obscure one, voice crack, that was not an obscure voice crack. Uh, Power Rangers Samurai. What? Okay, that's weird. Looks like an Xbox One case. This is the disc, this is actually my cousin's. I got it back when I was like seven. They actually let me borrow it, borrow it for a summer, and I never gave it back because they didn't say anything. And so I'm like, well, you know what? I might as well just keep it. <laughs> so um, yeah, Power Rangers Samurai. And next, of course, is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Obviously, one of the best games on the Wii. Probably, I, I would say probably like the third best. Um, and the disc is also in a pile over there on my shelf. But, uh, this is the manual. I haven't actually looked inside- I haven't looked inside this case in forever. Uh, I got this back when I was, like, eight, seven or eight. Very, very good game. I still haven't gotten all the green stars, though. Next is the original Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games. Now, the disc is actually in here. Uh, as well as the manual. That's pretty cool. Nothing much to say about this game, really. Just kind of, eh. Next is Wii Sports Resort. Now, we also have two copies of this because, um, wow, this is heavy. <laughs> um, because we thought that this one was broken, but it actually wasn't, and so we got another one. Um, this is a really heavy manual. Oh. Because it has the manual for, I don't know. It's just an extra thick manual. Um, again, a lot of the Wii games are in a pile over on my shelf, so... I probably won't be talking about the discs being gone that much. Next is another Mario Kart Wii. This one actually does have the, uh, oh, no, it doesn't have the disc in it. Uh, however, it does have the manual, so that is a plus. Next is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Arguably the worst Smash Bros. Um, you usually said by the the, uh, the competitive Smash community. I don't care what they say. This is, like, one of... I would say this is my favorite Smash Bros. game. Um, I'm on Scott the Waz's side, and I would say this is, uh... This is definitely my favorite Smash Bros. game. Because of the subspace emissary. And it was the first one to add in Stage Builder and actually the, uh, the Smash Ball. So, a very notable game. Next is Mario Super Sluggers. I got this at, uh, at Buybacks. 
when I was like seven. I don't know if any of you any of you have actually heard of buybacks. I would assume not. They I don't know if they went bankrupt or not, but I haven't heard from them in forever. Or, I haven't heard of them in forever. I feel like they might have went bankrupt. Um, this is Mario Super Sluggers. Here's the disc. And also the back. I I just realized I haven't really been showing the uh the back for the uh for the Wii games, but you know. Next is Band Hero. I've never played this. This is my cousins, um, but they don't actually play the Wii anymore. This is probably worth like five bucks. <laughs> uh, but you do have the disc and the manual. Next is the Biggest Loser. Nothing much to say. And this actually is mine with the manual and the disc. I don't, th I, I don't ever recall playing this. Next is Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. I wasn't a real big Guitar Hero, gu hero guy. Um, not at all, really. I was never that big into Guitar Hero, so I can't really say much about this one. Next is Rock Band 2. Now, uh, hmm. I actually am a Big fan of Rock Band 2. Um, I think the disc is at my is at my grandparents actually, but I had so much fun playing this game. This was originally uh, my cousins, along with Band Hero and Guitar Hero 3. But this game is awesome. I don't care. I would I like still go back to this game sometimes. Next is a uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Obviously, you have to have New Super Mario Bros. Wii. This is my original copy. I'm pretty sure we might have gotten this with our Wii back before I can remember. Um, but, uh, yeah. Obviously, solid game. Definitely one of my favorite New Super Mario Bros. Um, yeah. Next is Wii Fit Plus. I've played this a couple times, uh, but I haven't played it in recent years, so can't really say much for it. Next is Cars. I haven't played this in years, guys. Here's the uh the disc. I don't have the uh the manual. I haven't played this in years. I I mean I remember the gameplay and I remember playing it, but it's it was so long ago. And finally, last but not least, is Super Mario Galaxy, the Nintendo Selects. Um manual for Mario Galaxy is in here, but the disc is not. I don't know why the disc is over here. That's just weird. So uh, yeah, I just realized I forgot to do the, uh, the DS game, so that will be right now. Okay, um, first we will go by games that do not have cases. I actually also have Super Mario 64 DS. I don't know where it is, so sorry about that. But uh, first is Mario Kart DS. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I got stuck on this, and I just got back to playing it. Maybe like ago and uh i actually have beaten the remake of bowser's inside story so uh yeah next is animal crossing wild world uh i asked for new leaf but uh i got wild world instead that's fine i still like the game um then new super mario brothers i got 15 bucks back in like 2000 probably 13 yeah Pro probably 2013 uh, and finally is Mario Party DS. Hey, no, it's already open. Inside. And, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, we will move on to the PS3 games now. Okay, first off, uh, we got Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Uh, this actually came in a Madden case. I don't know which Madden it is, but, uh, yeah, this came in a Madden case. I got this from my friend. That's all you need to know about this game. Very fun zombies. Uh, next is Need for Speed Rivals. I also have this for the Xbox 360. Um, I said I haven't played this before. I met on the Xbox. Uh, I have played on the PS3. It's not that bad, actually. Uh, I actually thoroughly enjoy it. Just, I got it, like, April of this year. So, I actually got it to replace this game. Uh, Need for Speed Shift. This is like my favorite Need for Speed of all time. Seriously, it's awesome. Uh, there's the inside. The disc is broken. I tried cleaning it with uh, with 
toothpaste. Yes, it does work. It worked for my Wii U, New Super Mario Bros. U. Um, yeah, phenomenal game. I really love it. Next, of course, we got Minecraft. Uh, this is probably the game that I've played the most. Uh, de definitely the most on the PS3. Um, right behind, that's probably Need for Speed Shift. And then... Probably the only thing above this is probably Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, and not even Fortnite. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Obviously, it's Minecraft. It's a great game. And next is a more, I guess, obscure game, Bejeweled 3. I really love this game, actually, because I used to play um, Bejeweled on my mom's phone a lot, and uh, I just really like Bejeweled. I I like it over Candy Crush. Um, definitely, I really don't care for Candy Crush too much. Next is a game from the same place that I got New Super Mario Bros. DS from. For nine bucks, Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition. No manual, uh, but I do have the disc, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened to this. I guess we glitched out the game and now there's low resolution parts and everything won't load in all the way if you go into a certain part of the uh, of the city. So that is definitely a bummer. It sucks. But next is Disney Infinity 2.0. I never got far into this game. I was never that big into Disney Infinity. Um, there's the manual on the inside. But uh, yeah, not mu not much to uh, to mention there. And next is Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. I've still never played it. I've yet to play this game. Um, there's the inside. I plan on playing it someday, just not in the foreseeable future. Next is MLB 13, the show. Uh, we actually didn't have enough space to play it at the time. I also got this from a friend. Well, my brother got it from, uh, from my friend. Not much to say on it. Next is Sport cha Sports Champions 2. Basically, um, the PlayStation's version of Wii Sports Resort. Uh, I played this game, but not actually the first one, because uh, I got this game, Sports Champions, Sports Champions 2, for Christmas, but uh, we forgot that this one existed. So, there's the inside. So, I haven't played this game. <laughs> but Sports Champions 2, I have had uh, a bit of fun with. Then, uh, then Madden 15. This is the game that Black Ops 2 came in. We actually don't have Madden 15. <laughs> but uh, that is it for the PS3 games. Guys, on to the uh, on to the 3DS games now, right? Yeah. 3DS games. This one is th this one's gonna be a doozy. Okay. On to the uh, the system with the most amount of games on it for me. 3DS. This one's gonna take a while. New Super Mario Bros. 2, obviously a great game, the inside, uh, yeah, not much to say about it, I had a lot of fun with it though, New Super Mario Bros. 2 again, nothing's different, Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 7, I actually have another Mario Kart 7 somewhere, so we'll just look inside the red case. The uh, the game card is in my uh, my my traveling case. Next, Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. My brother lost his, and so we just got a new one. Next, Mario and Luigi: Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser's Dreamers Journey. Honestly, I think this is one of the more fun um, Mario and Luigi games. Actually, this is actually the one or the game that made Alpha Dream go bankrupt. That sucks, because honestly, I love this game. I honestly really enjoyed it. Um, next is Paper Mario Sigma Star. Uh, this game gets frowned upon a lot. I can see why my brother stopped playing it, like, maybe 10% through the game. There it is. I've never personally played it, so it's just kind of a concept for me. I would assume I probably wouldn't like that much either. Uh, next is Pokemon Moon. One of my favorite Pokemon games, actually, just because it's my first and I have a lot of memories with it. Here's the inside. It's not too cool. Next is Mario Luigi Paper Jam. Ooh. I, I, I love this game. I don't know where the manual is, but um, I really love this game. This is probably 
my second favorite Mario Luigi game. I know, I know. A lot of people didn't really like it. I love this game. Uh, next is Kirby Triple Deluxe, the Nintendo Select Edition. Manual and game card. I don't want to say. I haven't really played it that much. Next is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. This is probably one of the games that comes close to beating Minecraft in play hours. Because, oh my lord, I've played this game so much. It's not even funny. <laughs> Phenomenal game, though. Definitely pick this one up. This one is usually seen as the worst game in the Luigi's Mansion franchise. I love it. I, I would say it's on par with, uh, with Luigi's Mansion 3. I've never played the original Luigi's Mansion, so I can't really say much for that game, though. Next is Yoshi's New Island. Now, the game card is actually over there on my, uh, on my nightstand. But, very cool game. Again, this is also one of the games that comes close to beating Minecraft. Next is Lego Marvel Super Heroes Universe in Peril. Um, this is my brother's. I've never played it. Like, I mean, okay, look. I played it once on his birthday, and that was about it. Next is another one of my brother's games, Kirby Battle Royale. Um... I haven't played it that much. Not much to say. Pokemon of Crescent. Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition. Okay. The games... Or the... Yeah. The games that I know, the actual game cards aren't in the cases. I'm just not going to show the inside. <laughs> I don't know. So. Yeah. Next is Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. Next is Pac-Man The Ghostly Adventures 2. I have no idea what happened to the original one. <laughs> well, actually, we, we never had the original one, so... <laughs> Next is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Very fun game, of course, because it's Ocarina of Time. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Phenomenal game. Um, this one's probably my favorite Pokemon game. Next is Pokemon Omega Ruby. Mario Party, the top 100. Sonic Generations. New Super Mario Bros. 2 again. Lego Movie Video Game. This game I actually had a lot of fun with. One of the better movie-based video games. Next, Mario Sports Superstars. Now, this case is actually very chunky, as you can see. Well, I don't really know if you can see it, but it kind of bulges out. That's because I have the Amiibo cards. I bought, like, two packs of the Amiibo cards. Um, the... Okay. Amiibo cards are like cigarettes. You buy one pack, you'll get hooked. <laughs> uh, Pokemon X. I don't know if the game's in here. Nope. Nintendo Dogs plus Cats. really love this game. Pokemon Sun. Super Mario 3D Land. I, I've played this game a lot. Probably more than I should have. Uh, on my current 3DS alone, I've played it for over like 195 hours, which is insane. On my original 3DS, i probably played it for over 200. <laughs> Next is uh, another Mario Kart 7. Like I said, there's another Mario Kart 7. It's a boring case. It's a pre-owned game stop case. Next is Mario Maker 3DS. Very fun. Pokemon Ultra Moon. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga with Bowser's Minions. Ultimate NES Remix. I had a lot of fun with this game, actually. Um, I don't hear it talked about much, but it is a very fun game. If you have, like, ten bucks to spend, like, 10 to 20 bucks to spend, and you have a 3DS, definitely pick this up. It will be worth your time. Next, Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Uh, my original copy of Mario and Luigi Dream Team was actually built in to my original 3DS, because I got the special edition year for Luigi 3DS. Uh, so it's just a crappy uh, game stop case. Mario and, Luigi, Mario and Luigi Dream Team is probably my favorite Mario and Luigi game, by far had the most fun with it, and I think it has the most in-depth story, and honestly, like, so, some of the best bosses, and it's a very fun game. Next is Mario Golf World Tour. This game also didn't sell 
very well at all. I really like it, though. I have a lot of memories with this game. Next, second to last, Mario Party Island Tour. I love this game, dude. This game is one of my favorite on 3DS. Definitely top 10. And, last but not least, Puzzle and Dragon Z plus Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Edition. Uh, I got this one, like, July of 2015. Um, then my brother deleted my save file, and I was on the final level, too. And so I never went back to the game, because I was salty as all hell. <laughs> but uh, that wraps it up for the 3DS games. Next, on to the Wii U games. We're going back. Okay, now on to the Wii U games. Oh, a lot. There's a lot. So, first is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Paper Mario Color Splash. Guitar Hero Alive. Nintendo Land. Minecraft Wii U Edition. New Super Mario Bros. U plus New Super Luigi U. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Yoshi's Woolly World. Super Mario Maker. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. And Super Mario 3D World. On to the next games. Okay. We're back. On to the final set of games. The Nintendo Switch games. Now, I also have games on my PC. Uh, I'll just mention those real quick. I got CSGO, Minecraft, um, Fall Guys, Among Us, Forza Horizon 4, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, on to the Switch, on to the Switch games. Now, I actually forgot to pull out my Switch games. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> so we got Super Mario Odyssey coming at number one. Probably my second favorite. Well, no. <laughs> this is still my favorite on Switch. Uh, it's tied with Breath of the Wild, though. Definitely. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I've had, I have so much fun with this game. I get really competitive, too. Like This is, this is probably the only game where I actually throw my controller that I still play. <laughs> Uh, Super Mario Maker 2, phenomenal game. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, definitely better than Wild World, obviously. Um, I really like it, but I haven't played enough of the game yet to give my honest opinion. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, great game, got this for Christmas of last year, uh, and I really, really enjoy it. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Enough said. Uh, this is another game where I will throw my controller, just not as hard. And also, I'm planning on doing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe montages, so like, montages with music. So like, good gameplay with music over it. Come down below if you want uh, me to, to do that, if you made it this far in the video. Next, Yoshi's Crafted World. I've only played this for like three hours. It gets kind of boring, uh, but it's definitely a good game. If you're into two Yoshi's Island games, definitely pick it up. Next is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, the remake. I still haven't played this. I got this, or uh, I got the pre-order code along with Breath of the Wild. I just, I still haven't played it. I, don't, <laughs> I have no idea why. Uh, next is Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games, Tokyo 2020. Y'all know how that turned out. <laughs> Everspace Stellar Edition. This is one of the lesser known games. This is a really cool space game. So if you're into space and, I guess, space-themed games, definitely pick this up. This is a really, really fun game. Our next, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Tied with Mario Odyssey for number one game on the Switch. I, I played this for longer than Mario Odyssey. Just because I feel like it has more replayability. Because of the side quests and the amount of shrines. I still haven't gotten every single shrine. And I've had it for like over a year. Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Very fun co-op. And I've made it like to the end of World 2 in the main story mode. Pokemon Sword. 
Superior Pokemon Shield. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Next is Kirby Star Allies. Too easy because it is a Kirby game, but it is a great game. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This is actually the European version, as you can see. Great game. I haven't gotten very far into it, though, just because I find it fairly difficult, actually. And I really want to uh, complete it because it, it'll take a long time. Probably 150 plus hours because this is a really big game. Uh, next is Splatoon 2. I haven't found a lot of people online. I mean, I tried to play this a couple months ago. There aren't a lot of people online anymore, and it honestly sucks, because this is a great game, and I love playing Splatoon online. Uh, next is Mario Tennis Aces. I beat the game. I did two episodes of this back in, what, August, like, July and August of uh, 2018. You can go check it out if you want to and listen to my squeaker voice that'll be in the uh, card icon over here. Next is Super Mario Party. Obviously the only Mario... I just realized I haven't been showing you the inside of the cases. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but Switch cases aren't too eventful, so... They don't even come with manuals most of the time. But, uh, you yeah, know, very fun. I hope they release, like, a Mario Party 11, if you will. Um... Just because I like the original format. This is definitely a step in the right direction. But there's only four maps, and the mini games are alright. Um, next, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Think about speedrunning this game, actually. Um, let me know if you want to see that. I will definitely live stream me speedrunning this. Next, next in the final game. Well, not the final game, sorry. Uh, Pokemon Shield. This is actually my brother's. Uh, this is what the inside of the sword case also looks like. Right here. Yeah. Sword and Shield are so fun. I, <laughs> they're such fun games. And last, but not least, the final game in my collection. It's Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Um, you may have noticed the game was missing from the Switch collection. Yeah, it was. There's the inside of the case. Very cool. I did an unboxing on this. You can also check that out uh, in the i card icon thing but uh that wraps up this video i okay look i want you guys to see how much of a mess my room is now this is my desk right this is what i just showed you guys on monday Wii games ps3 and switch games 3ds games another 3ds game uh that's where all of the stuff was you yeah, know it's quite the mess uh <laughs> So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll try to get a video out Friday. Uh, and I will also be live streaming on Thursday, so stay tuned for that. Probably another Mario Galaxy speedrun or Super Mario 64 Part 2. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!